It's all over for EVs. Ford's CEO finally shut down their entire EV strategy, leaving the entire industry in disbelief, but had gas car lovers jumping for joy. CEO Jim Farley literally said, we won't launch more EVs unless we can get to a profit. You heard that right, folks. Ford is currently bleeding money on every car they sell, but that's not even their biggest problem. EVs are exploding on the streets, killing people, while the political leaders are trying to hide some critical flaws from the public. So Ford, you know, the number one automaker in the US, just dropped some news that's got everyone's gears grinding. They just confirmed that they won't be launching any more EVs. Our story begins two years ago when the Chinese EV makers were raking in heavy profits and our government, spotting an opportunity to ride the EV hype wave, decided to throw a whopping $9.2 billion Ford's way. They forced Ford to drop gas cars and focus on building more EVs. So there's Ford sitting on this mountain of cash, tasked with a mission that sounds more like a superhero plot to lead America's charge into the electric future. They had plans, big ones, for constructing three massive battery factories through a joint venture called Blue Oval SK, partnering with the South Korean battery giant SK On Company. The goal? To churn out as many as 2 million EVs by 2026, a massive leap from the 132,000 they managed last year. But here's where it gets juicy. This whole operation, with a price tag of $11.4 billion, was almost entirely bankrolled by us, the taxpayers. Then, to sweeten things out, they gave us some of that money back in the form of a $7,500 tax credit, but also increased the rate of interest on loans. And to make things worse, plenty of Ford cars lost their eligibility for this $7,500 discount, but more on that later. This was like stealing money and then giving a discount to the person you stole it from. They thought, just like China, EVs will sell like crazy here in the US, but they forgot to give the public what they really wanted, cheap, affordable EVs priced under 30 k now don't get me wrong, the Chinese EVs under 30k aren't too good in quality, but how do you explain paying over a hundred grand for a pickup truck? The average price on EVs went up to like $65,000. Tell me in the comments, how many of you would actually want to buy a 65k EV when it can't even run 200 miles without a charge? In a minute, I'm also going to tell you the exact reason why EV prices might go up by 50% in the coming months while gas car prices are going to go down. So listen closely. So first, all this happened and then the political leaders blindsided Ford. They told car makers that if they don't sell a certain number of EVs every year, they'll have to pay heavy fines back to the government, you know the ones that gave them the money in the first place to start this? So the government makes money either way. If EVs sell well, they make money from us, and if they don't sell well, they extort money from the car makers. CEO Jim Farley has been scratching his head for over a year, thinking where it all went wrong. Maybe it's because their prices are too high. Maybe it's because EVs just aren't good enough. But little did he know that it was all a shitty government plan from the get-go. But now, he's having none of it, going completely against electric cars and listening to the public instead. During their latest earnings call, which was more like a drama-filled flick, Ford's top executives laid it all out. CFO John Lawler was like, we are not going to launch EVs anymore. And it's not just a minor tweak, they're 86 ing the whole EV plan. They've already put the brakes on some major plans, like their second battery plant in Kentucky and scaling back on another in Michigan. The money Ford lost on EVs is a whopping 40% of their capital expenditure. And it's not just about cutting back. Ford's playing the long game, putting their next-gen EVs on hold until they can guarantee profits. Lawler's been pretty blunt about it. If we can't make money off it, it's not hitting the road. Now let me tell you about the big fines that won't just affect EV companies, but could also haunt your wallet in a few months. The government just brought a rule telling companies that if 22% of the total cars they sell are not EVs, they'll have to pay a fine. And this minimum percentage will continue to increase, going up to 87% EV sales by the year of 2030. And given the current state of the market, this means many companies are going to have to pay heavy fines. Then they're going to try to make up for those fines, and then they're going to try to make up for those losses by increasing the prices of their vehicles, meaning EVs could get costly soon. But gas cars, on the other hand, are sure to get cheaper in the coming time. I'm talking about a 15% drop in the coming three months, and the reason behind this is none other than who other? China. More on that in a minute. Then we also have the news of Ford dealers bailing and refusing to sell any EVs because these cars just occupy space on the dealer lots and don't sell for months. 
for 2024, according to a report by Peter Johnson at Electric, 50% of Ford dealers have refused to sell EVs. Their EV program now has about 1,500 participants, down from about 2,200 last year. When asked about this in an interview, a Ford employee said EV adoption rates are different across the country. People just don't want to spend that much on an EV yet. When political leaders try to intervene in companies, more often than not, it's the public that ends up paying a price. Ford made all their dealers pay heavy prices to opt into their EV program. Ford dealers can choose from two tiers, certified and elite. Initially, certified dealers were required to invest 500,000 for one public DC fast charger. For around $1 million, dealers could opt for the elite tier, which includes another fast charger, demo units, a presence on Ford.com, and more, oh goody. But to everyone's shock, many cars just lost their tax credit eligibility. The Escape and the Lincoln Corsair Grand Touring are now only getting a $3,000 credit. Ford's Mustang Mach-E and the Lincoln Aviator Grand are also going to lose their EV credit in all the areas. GM's also taking a hit here with their Cadillac Lyric and Chevrolet Blazer EV, losing their eligibility because of some minor component issues. Their CEO, Mary Barra, even said that making cheap EVs right now is a big mistake because we don't have sufficient battery technology to lower prices without bleeding money. Not to mention, there's also the charging issue of EVs that needs to be solved. Right now, only 60% of the public chargers work properly, and many areas still have poor charging networks. In places with sub-zero temperatures, EVs are dying a lot faster and even taking twice as long to charge, making life a lot more difficult for early adopters. Now, for all of you gas car lovers, here's how gas guzzlers are going to get cheaper. The Chinese right now control over 80% of the current battery supply, and they just imposed a massive export ban on these materials. Thus, the supply chain will suffer and EV makers will have to increase prices when offering good deals on gas cars. Jim Farley has also dropped out of a $12 billion plan to make more EVs in order to save some money. They only managed to sell 26,000 EVs in the last quarter. So right now, buying EVs might not be such a good idea, especially when you're going to see the market crash and people crying over problems like EV fires, poor quality, range anxiety, and whatnot. But does this mean Ford is totally abandoning EVs? Nope, they're still in it to win it, but they're being a lot more cautious. For now, they're banking on gas rather than electric vehicles, expecting a 30% sales hike this year. So yeah, Ford's still gunning for an electric future, but they're making sure they're not driving off a financial cliff just to get there. Ford's EV crisis is a bit of a reality check for the whole industry. It's like, sure, EVs are the future, but getting there without going broke? That's the real challenge. And with Ford dialing back, it's a sign that maybe, just maybe, we need to pump the brakes and rethink if EVs are the only way to the future. So what do you guys think? Should companies go back to gas cars? Are we not ready for EVs? Let me know down in the comments below. I just uploaded a video about groundbreaking news that could hurt the entire EV industry. Do check it out if you want to be truly shocked by what's about to happen with EVs.